I'm Chris and today we're going to be making these really cool pop bottle cap containers. Let's do this real quick. This is not my idea. Um, I actually saw this on the King of Randoms YouTube site. I'll include a link in the description to his videos and the various things you can do with these. The first thing we have to do is cut the top of the bottles off. Um, cut them just below the rim here. You can use a mini hacksaw, a big hacksaw, uh, saws off if you have, skill saw, whatever you like, just work safe. Now after you get them cut, I actually cut it pretty close to flush there. I would uh, use some sandpaper, maybe a file if you have it. Um, something to get this right, really, really flush and rough it up a little bit before you either hot glue it, epoxy it, uh, JB weld it, whatever you might do. Now when doing this you want to be careful you don't heat the plastic up too much and melt everything. You also want to be careful because it is hot plastic and there is a possibility of being burned and also it's a grinding wheel. Don't get your fingers on it. It's gonna hurt. The only other thing I need to do is kind of clean up some of the plastic that melted and got stuck to the inside. Obviously when doing this be very careful. I'm not trying to cut, I'm merely just trying to pry out. You could probably use a screwdriver or something like that too. Um, always work safe. Let's kind of just get a little piece of sandpaper. Just work off any other pieces. And that should be nice and roughed up for the uh, two-part epoxy, hot glue, JB weld, whatever you're going to use. Now the only other thing we're going to do is cut the middle of the bottle out just because I need a flat piece of plastic. I'm going to cut it out a little rough right now and after I glue it between the two bottle caps um, I can always clean it up a little bit with my knife. And we'll take that and we'll glue it right in between here. It'll give us two separate compartments for another project. And then we're also going to take one of these and glue it together to give us one big compartment one more thing you're going to have to do is get this a little scuffed up at least around the edges so that the epoxy or hot glue will stick a little bit better. Now get creative with this. You can make a fishing kit with this, put in your survival pack or bug out bag. Um, you can make a little fire kit, some cotton in there, some Vaseline, uh, you might even be able to fit a lighter in there for all I know. Uh, I doubt it, but definitely some matches. And anytime you include matches, unless you have Strike Anywhere matches, which they don't really make the way they used to, you're going to want to put a little striking pad from the matchbox in there. Don't forget that. This could even be a great way to store some tinder in there. Store some uh, uh, dryer lint. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> no, I just found a uh, a little card in some junk mail, like a little fake credit card, and that's what I cut up for this one. Figure I'd try it out and see what happens. All right, we'll let those dry. All right, let's see how they turned out. This is the one with the divider in the inside. Might clean up the edges here. Might take those rings off. It's actually pretty cool. It's a great idea. I 
and that's the actual pop bottle divider. Let's see if these things actually hold water. I'm going to put some wood shavings inside them. And uh, obviously if they get wet, they don't hold water. Obviously if we see bubbles, they weren't watertight. Hold water out, I should say. Well, at the very least it floats. Uh oh, I saw one bubble. That might have just been around the outside threads. Let's see here. That looks dry to me. That one's also dry. That one's dry. So is that one. And for the last one. Yep. Dry, dry, and dry. Oh, a little water in there. Now this is the one I did with the hot glue. So maybe the hot glue one isn't the best. If you made an alcohol stove, keep these bottles. These are five hour energy bottles. You throw your fuel in here, dump it in, light it up, and you're good to go. Throw that in your pack. You got a nice little quick way to heat up some food, heat up some water, whatever you might have to do. I'm Chris and thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, give me some thumbs up if you liked what you watched. Um, let me know any ideas you guys want to see in the future. I'm going to try to put up as many videos as I can.